everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today I'm here with a video that I thought would be fun and I actually put thought into it I brainstormed a bit to just come up with some more content for my channel and I kind of invented a tag so I didn't invent it I created one <laughs> so the tag is the favorite books tag so to participate in the tag the rules I made up are you can have as many books for each prompt as you wish there is no limit you can include favorite picks from each prompt whether they're colored or uncolored and you can include PDFs so in my case I'm trying to have a variety and I'm not trying to really repeat books but the prompts are a favorite book with food so it doesn't have to be a completely food themed book it can just be a book that features food that happens to be one of your favorites of that category favorite book with fashion this is basically a book that has any kind of fashion any kind of clothing it doesn't have to be solely a fashion themed book but it just have to feature some fashion favorite book with animals so again the book does not have to wholly be about animals but it can have features of animals and it'll be your favorite book with animals favorite fantasy book that is such a wide category and that's one of the categories I struggle with because there are so many fantasy books I feel like all of my coloring books are fantasy books in some way but I did happen to find one or two next favorite whimsical book this is another one that I struggle with and I feel like a lot of my books are whimsical so it was kind to kind of hard to choose especially because I'm trying to have a variety favorite detail book so this is a coloring book that you own that has a lot of detail in the images or illustrations it can be tiny details it can be huge details doesn't really matter it can just be a very detailed book that's your favorite favorite simple easygoing book so this one basically is a book that you reach for when you don't want to overthink about shading or colors or something that just has simple illustrations in it or just something that you can consider mindless coloring that you like to do and you really don't think or <laughs> grow three gray hairs trying to figure out how to color it or approach it favorite book series so a lot of illustrators and artists have books in a series meaning that they have multiple books that are the same theme or the same type of illustration so it'll just be favorite book series number nine is your favorite dark or Halloween book now I know quite a few people really like the dark themed adult books or the Halloween books and that's just simply number nine your favorite one that you have or two or however many you choose to use for the prompt lastly favorite book with a different culture so this actually shouldn't be too hard because we have a lot of variety in adult coloring books thank goodness these days versus when adult coloring started to become popular and there are a lot of different artists from different ethnic backgrounds and ethnicities and they draw people as such sometimes so this will just be your favorite book that has different cultures illustrated in it so hopefully I've explained everything <laughs> fairly clearly and I haven't really officially tagged anyone but Frances who is coloring F here on YouTube and I tagged her because I let her know about it as soon as I was finished thinking of each of the categories for my tag and I really don't know who watches my channel anymore these days so I really don't know who to tag and people are busy you know they may not have time to watch but all that being said if you have a channel and you would like to participate in this favorite books tag go ahead and participate just try to let me know <laughs> that you've done it you know give me credit because I feel like you know I should get some I came up with the <laughs> prompts and I would love to watch it so I'm saying that just to say let me know so I can watch your video and yeah let's go ahead and get started because I have blabbered on far long enough all right so the first prompt was book with food so I have books that have food in them 
I don't know how many I have, but these are the two that I've chosen. So, Sweets and Dishes by Iri Nishiwaki is one of my favorites. And this book is solely based on food. And um, here's one, spoiler, that I've done for August. So, you'll see that in a completed page. But I've done quite a few in this book. Here's a whip I've never gone back to. But I really like how the theme is different. It's not just all hamburgers or hot dogs or whatever. We have like r different rices, fruits, vegetables. They're in different scenes. They make up words. It's just such a different variety than the normal food book. And it's really well drawn and I really like it. And that is tiny. And I've actually been experimenting and <laughs> copied a picture that I really like onto a bigger like regular size piece of paper. So I'm really excited because I figured out how to do it because I didn't know oddly enough. <laughs> But it was a learning curve and I figured it out. Here's a whip that I have. So yeah, I am actually going to, pictures that I really like, I'm going to make them bigger. I'm just going to copy them because this is like really tiny. And sometimes I really just want to color a big food picture. <laughs> I wish this was, you know, more exaggerated. So since I figured out how to go ahead and copy it, I'm definitely excited to venture into that avenue of this book. Next, I chose Minue de Bonoa by Konoko Igusa, and I'm so excited that she has another book coming out. I cannot freaking wait. But, yes, I really love Minue de Bonoa, and this is one of my favorite books in general, period, in life. But, I do love the food in this book because it's just exceptionally drawn, and I really have a good time when I'm coloring it. And... She has a variety of different fruits and vegetables in her books as well. I'm trying to find some more. Oh, so we have like macarons, macarons, <laughs> different cookies, little treats, you know. It's just it's just something about it I really like. I don't know. Like there always are like fruits and berries. We have pumpkins right here. And we have one of my favorite pages that I've done. Oh, here's one that I want to do. But here's one of my favorite pages that I've done featuring food. And there is food aplenty on this page. And I enjoy every second of coloring it. And to the best of my ability. And just figuring out the colors and stuff. So, yeah, it was really fun. So, those are the two books that I chose for, whoops, for books with food. Okay, number two is book with fashion. Y'all know I really love to color clothing. So the book that I immediately thought of was The Look by Suwa. And she actually, I keep bumping the tripod. I apologize about that. She actually worked as, um, I forget what it's called. <laughs> She's worked like for Michael Kors and everything. So She's an amazing fashion illustrator. That's what it's called. <laughs> and this is one of my favorite books for fashion, even though I don't color in it nearly enough. And I like that this book has such a variety. So it has different settings, like different cities and countries and different fashion. Maybe not necessarily unique to that part of the world, but they just show different women, men. I mean, there's even like older women. You know, we have men. If you don't, if you've never seen this book before, and I I bought this. This was one of the first books I bought because I saw Dee Dee Willingham coloring in it. I know Dee Dee's done this one, so I really fell in love with it because it has just food, clothes. It has different settings. So if you like to color buildings and cars, you can do that. I mean, the accessories are just crazy good in this book. The way they're drawn. We have hats, jewelry, watches so many different kinds of bags and shoes. Nothing I think is the same that she's drawn period like in this book so this one is always enjoyable when I do make my way around to complete a page in it and it's just something that I'm happy to have in my collection and you can take so much creative freedom and artistic freedom to make pages your own and that's something that I really enjoy about this book so this goes for my book with fashion so I know I said that I tried to have a variety in this tag, and I've done so for everything except one and three. So for number three, book with animals, it has to be Minue de Bonoa, and I would pick a different one, but I don't really have another one where I like the animals. Fur is still something I don't enjoy to color, but I'm trying my best to get better at it. But these animals are anthropomorphic. They have human-like features and qualities. 
some of them not all of them because some of them are actually drawn like regular animals and yeah i don't have rhapsody in the forest so i couldn't really choose that one but i do if i had it but anyway <laughs> yeah this will have to count as my book with animals because the animals are just drawn so cute they just have such I don't know such a quality about them that I really like so yeah I'm not going to talk more about that and we'll just move on to number four okay so moving on to number four which is favorite book that has fantasy I chose this book vampires by Jay summer this is the OG one before they started to combine to combine grayscale and this was an early on in my coloring journey purchase and I really still do like this book I do want to come back to it because I do like vampires and vampires are fantasy in my mind so I chose this book and there are so many nice pictures and I do get duplicate copies in this version just following their normal format so some ones that I've done already early on in my coloring journey I've showed before but I have an opportunity to do these again and She's still one of my favorites, even though this is like super early in my coloring journey. But yeah, I really do enjoy these images. And for fantasy, I instantly thought of this one as I like the vampire theme. And these images are really nice. So yeah, that is the book that I've chosen for fantasy. Okay, for favorite whimsical book number five, I chose my Clara Markova books. I don't have fairy celebrations and I very much want it, but what can you do? So, I have Tenderful Enchantments, which was my first Clara purchase, and Fair Miracles. Now, I am one of those people where I don't like Magical Delights. I think that's the red one. That was her first one. I don't like that one, oddly, but this one, I still have this whip. This one, I like. If I had to choose between these two, I don't know. They're, they're kind of... They kind of are equal to me, but her books do have such an air of whimsy about them. And everything's just so charming and cute. And I really like how everything's drawn, even though I don't color in these books nearly as often as I would like. Because I hate this paper. <laughs> but yeah, I really do enjoy Clara's artistry. Here's my Jack the Quack. Here's one that I would like to get done. So yeah, all overall... I really do enjoy her books, even looking at the pictures if I don't even color them. So, yeah, here's one that I've done with Francis as a buddy color. But, yeah, her, her books do have whimsy about them, and I really do like them. And I, I need to get my behind around to coloring in some. So, here's one I wanted to do, too, of course, because of the food. But I really have to be in the right mindset to want to tackle this paper. <laughs> Because it does not let me layer as much as I would like. But yeah, these are the two books that I've chosen for my fantasy. Not fantasy, whimsy. Oh my gosh, <laughs> whimsy choices. <laughs> for my books, my favorite books with detail, I chose Lizzie Mary Cullen and my Game of Thrones books. Okay, those who have Lizzie Mary Cullen books, you know that they are super detailed and they can be very daunting and intimidating if you're not used to her art style or if you purchased them because something appealed to you about them but you just don't know where to get started. It can be difficult, but you know, you just approach it like you do everything else. You start with a little at a time and before you know it, you have your picture. It's just figuring out what some things are sometimes that can be a bit of a headache but I still find it fun so I really love my Lizzie Mary Cullen books this is the magical journey if I did not say by the way so yeah I really love my Lizzie Mary Cullen books they're fun I don't ever get frustrated or anything but you can you probably could imagine you would get frustrated or overwhelmed when coloring some of these, these images but they're just fun to me so I don't know I really like them now this I don't know if I'll ever color simply because it's leaves and stuff and y'all know I don't get down with that but this is the magical journey and then you know I also have the magical Christmas and I chose two for this because I've done a lot in the magical Christmas so yeah I really enjoyed the magical Christmas it's one of my favorites and then this was a recent one I did for Christmas in July and yeah I just really enjoy Lizzie's books so yeah this is one that I'm choosing for my favorite detail book okay so I've chosen two for this category and my Game of Thrones book this is the one drawn by Yvonne Gilbert John Howe 
um, Thomas Love Tomic Adam Stower Levi Penfold. So this is based on the artist interpretation. This is not based on the HBO characters. And so yeah, this one has a lot of detail, and it can be very overwhelming and stressful because you want to make things look realistic or you have pressures that you know you might want to make them look as best as you can and so yeah this is one that i really enjoy when i do color in it for detail because i mean it doesn't bother me when i move and when i'm in the mood to color details i reach for this if i don't already have a different page picked out somewhere else my poor little forever whip in here <laughs> that I keep forgetting about that I really need to get back to because I've seen some amazing interpretations of that picture but yeah this is one that I reach for for detail because it can be quite detailed at times like all the little things but it comes together in the end and you before you know it you have a picture so that is one that I am choosing and here is my HBO Game of Thrones coloring book based on the characters and the the characters and the actors portraying the characters on the show oh my gosh I could not get my words out and this book is huge so I need like a lot of space when I'm coloring with this book here is my Brienne of Tarth that I've done and she's the only thing that I've completed in this book I really need to get back to it I really want to complete Melisandre but Brand is one of my favorite characters, so I had to do her first. I've seen an amazing version of this on Instagram, and I'm like, oh my gosh. It inspires me to complete it, but I don't know when I'm going to do that because this is mad detail, so you can easily see why I chose this one for a detail, my favorite detail book because, boy, oh boy, there is. So if you're in the mood for that kind of thing, this definitely should scratch that itch, <laughs> and it does for me, so... Yeah, this is one that I've chosen for one of my favorite detail books. On to the next category. Okay, for number seven is your favorite simple or easygoing book. I chose my Hannah Lynn books. Every time I color a Hannah Lynn, I don't know, it just makes me happy and I don't stress about it. I just, you know, I always give thought to my colors, but I never stress about anything. And it's just something easygoing when I want to color, especially now that she has simplified version of pictures that she started to do now versus sometimes where she draws a lot of detail. So that really helps. But overall, I don't know. I just really enjoy coloring a handling picture every time I reach for one of her books. And like I said, I really don't stress about it. It's pretty easygoing for me. And... Not saying that her images are simple, but, you know, we're saying for when you don't have to overthink and things come easily to you about the picture, it's always my hand lens. So, that is why I chose her for that prompt. Okay, so for number eight, your favorite book series, y'all probably would have guessed, <laughs> those who know me know, I love my Fabiana Atanasio and my favorite book series is Fabiana Atanasio's fairy tale book series. Now I don't have all of them. I have just Wizard of Oz which was so generously gifted to me by a subscriber and I really need to leave this on my desk so I can finish one in it soon. Um, I have Peter Pan. I have two copies of Alice in Wonderland. Um, this is my first one I think. Let me see. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is my first copy of Alice in Wonderland. And I have a second copy because this is one of my favorite books. And this was the first book that I bought when I decided to get into adult coloring. I have Snow White. I have Beauty and the Beast. But I have the Italian version because I ordered it on Book Depository. And I have Cinderella. So I'm debating on getting Hansel and Gretel, Hansel and Gretel. I don't know, whatever. But it's on Amazon. And I really want to get it. But I haven't decided if I'm going to pull that trigger yet. But... Yeah, um, I should because once these are gone, they're gone and it's, it's not reprinted. So that's why you probably can't find a lot of them anymore. But yeah, for my favorite book series, I chose my fairy tale series from Fabiana Atanasio. And I also chose one more that we will get into right now. So another one for my favorite book series because I couldn't just choose one. And I told y'all the rules were you can have as many for each category as you want but where I couldn't really decide I've had two choices but anyway yeah I love Aries Romantic Country series this is the second tale 
and I have a whip in here. I think I showed y'all before, but I'll show you again if I can find it. And it's the marketplace whip that I have for forever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's always when you're looking for something, you can't find it. And I don't mark stuff because I'm lazy. But, yeah, this was my forever whip that I've had in this book. And the paper has peeled on me using my ink tints, which usually does not happen to me. So, that was really strange. And just me, because I've grown in the variety of books that I have, I noticed that papers are different, which is something that I did not know when I first started to color. And, you know, the, the more toothier paper that I've colored in, this paper kind of gives me a hard time now. But I do need to come back and finish it because it's still so much left to be done. And I really do want to finish it. But, yeah, I love Erie's Romantic Country series of books. One of my favorites, obviously. This is why I'm including it in this tag. And I don't know. Like, I, I really feel like if you're going to color you should have her books in your collection simply because you get a variety of images and it's just different things for you to practice coloring and it's just a type of charm that comes along with it and they're just really nice books so I have the second tale I have two copies of the third tale the Japanese version and the English version and then I just have my first tale which I feel like I neglect so much and there's so many pictures in this book that I want to complete like this is when I really want to do um, but I just haven't done it because, again, this paper. So, yeah, this is one that I abandoned, like, forever ago that I never got back to because I hate how I did the tree. And, yeah, it just it didn't work out for me. <laughs> but this is one of the first books that I got when I first started to color. So, you can see I don't even color like this anymore. Like, it's changed so much. But I really like to look back on that. But, yeah, these are just nice books to have. And I've seen people do amazing things with a lot of these pages on Instagram and so if you ever need inspiration that's one place you can go so here is one this is one of my favorite pictures that I've done in my eerie books which is um, this little girl reading in her bedroom at night and I just think it's such a cozy scene so this is one of my favorite pictures but yeah eerie romantic country series is definitely one of my favorite series of books that I have in my collection Okay, so for prompt number nine, it's your favorite dark or Halloween themed book. I, of course, chose my Misfits. Now, Misfits are not for everyone. I know some people don't like them or they find them scary or like this category is dark. But I really like them because she does have a variety of themes. Like, she has nautical themes. She has fairy themes. Here's a Forever Whip that I did, like, years ago. And I probably won't ever color it because... <laughs> I don't know I just don't color like that anymore so here's one that I've done a long time ago so I do show my misfits books love and like I said I feel like they're pretty good to have um, you can just get the non scary ones like the fairy versions and whatnot where it's not super dark themed and you don't have to worry about maybe what the images <laughs> might scare you or whatnot here is one of my favorites that I've done and I really enjoy coloring this one so yeah I do have two three four five six seven I have eight misfits books she has way more than eight I don't know how many she has at this point but girlfriend be on a roll when she makes these but yeah I have these ones and I'm really happy to have these in my collection I do want the it's another one I want but I haven't gotten it yet I'm still thinking about if I want to get it but I really love the Christmas one the winter one is one of my favorite ones and I really hope she does another winter one cuz they're just look at this they just look so you know melancholy in their face and it's like you can feel the emotion in her little misfit girls sometimes not all the time you know some of them kind of scary but like I don't know it's just something about them I really like so, I'm happy to have the Misfits in my collection, and these are my favorite dark books. Last but not least, we have Culture, your favorite book with a different culture. So, I am not Chinese, Japanese, Asian, any type of that. So, my favorite culture books are those type of books. And so, all of these are Chinese to the best of my knowledge. And... I have quite a few. I have two more of the mini ones, but I didn't bring them here because, you know, I had to trudge these books upstairs. But, um, yeah, these are some of my favorite. And Dada Mao pretty much illustrates all of them, I believe, that I have here. And, yeah, this is one of my favorites that I really like. But he doesn't get enough love. I don't know why. People may not like him. But, yeah, I really enjoy myself when I'm coloring in these books. 
I really would like to do a picture from them all the time, but I feel like I reach for them too much, so I try to spread my coloring love around. <laughs> but yeah, I just love these books because the illustration style is so gorgeous. Like, even if I don't color them, I just like to look at it, and they tell a story without me even knowing what the hell it says, and that's crazy that... A book can communicate that so this is one of my favorites I really want to do but yeah I really love my Chinese books and I'm so happy that I started to purchase these I don't regret any of them they've all been amazing and I can't say enough good things about them this is one of my favorites that I want to do soon and then this is the only one that I have the only book in my entire coloring book collection y'all that I have not colored in which is this one I don't know why because they have like nice watercolor images in the back and I think this one is called um, Butterflies in Love with Flowers. That's the title that I get that comes up. I'm not really sure what it's called because, again, I don't read Chinese. <laughs> but this book is beautiful, and I don't know why I don't color in it. I have pictures picked out that I really want to do. Like, I really love this one, but the flowers throw me off because y'all know I don't like to color a bunch of flowers. After one flower, I'm crying. <laughs> I really want to do this one, but I'm not good with, like, backlit items like people or things in a backlight and I really want to get good at that before I approach this picture this is one on my forever to-do list because I just love it she's on a bike and I don't know I love her expression but I'm not feeling all, all of these flowers but yeah I love my Chinese coloring books and I have so much fun in them like I said and I can just bring out a lot of my creativity because you know I use my washi tapes on their clothes and it's just so much fun so yeah that was the absolute last prompt your favorite book with a different culture so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it wasn't too long-winded and boring for you if you stuck through thank you for watching i appreciate it and if you want to participate again and you have a channel i guess i'll tag you i'm not really going to specifically name anyone again like i stated earlier um if you want to participate go ahead and participate i'm going to leave the prompts down in the description box below and yeah, just have at it and just make sure that if you want me to see it, you let me know that you made one and I will definitely check it out. So hopefully this will be fun if you do choose to do do this tag and you know, I hope that it maybe makes you realize some books that you forgot you had or reignite your passion for some. That will be a fun thing to happen <laughs> if it were to. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.